I'm right there with you. Yeah, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. That's okay. I had an idea. Do you like museums? Kinda. I do. <laughs> Thank you, cat. Wear something red. Sure. Wear whatever you want. No, I will I will wear red. If I have something red. Let's go to the museum. We might be We might be uh We might be close to being done with this game. Unfortunately. You find Valerie in the lobby and she leads you into the museum. Huh? In the first gallery, Valerie glares daggers at one of the sculptures. It's too perfect. Perfection is so boring. I don't trust it. I prefer paintings. Yeah. Me too. So much more left to the imagination. Valerie guides you through the museum without a map, according to her whim. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. She talks about the art with intimate fondness, like they're eccentric family members. Huh. Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which would it be? Are you a cop? <laughs> so suspicious, I admire your caution. But no, it's an idle question. Uh, you've really never thought about it before? I'd steal The Birth of Venus by Boru. Boru. I can't say that name. It's in the... I can't say that name either. Ground floor near the stairs. <sighs> the real issue's the size. It's 3 by one by 2.18 meters. And it would be a crime to roll it up. It would be a crime to roll it up. And you'd also ruin the value. Stealing it is a crime. You thought this through. Huh? Well, it wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I miss out on the chance to enjoy my painting if it was in prison. Now, it's your turn. What would you liberate? Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. No. O'Keeffe's Summer Days. Clements the Kiss. Passionate and bold piece. Rather like you, I think. I hate much... I, I hate... <laughs> I thought it said mushrooms. I hate museums as much as I love them, the idea of them anyway. Art should be free, out in the world, not hidden away like Ugh. this. But Verona Beach isn't so bad. The museum's free and open to the public. Have you heard about the new mural at the mall? Maybe I could go look, the, go look at it together sometime. I'd love to know what you think. People are saying it's uh, Roses of Venus, you know. The anonymous graffiti artist. Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed a little more beauty and love. Hmm. Just as you're getting to know her better, Valerie's attention wanders. You look around to see what's distracting her, and wait. It's the guy from the park. He's standing in the gallery entrance, glaring at you both. Um. I'm sorry. I'll take care of this. She grabs the guy by the shoulders and pulls him away. She whispers to him. They look intimate, like they know each other forever. After a few moments, Valerie turns, looks flushed and angry. Ugh. You don't, don't, uh, do you want to get out of here? You mean go home with you? What happened to romance? Why was he here? Uh uh. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to be somewhere else with you. Aww. Escape. Enemies nearby get confused when you roll out of sight. Sneaky. Enemies are confused longer. Roll farther. Ooh. So you can switch? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh. Oh, wait. Valeria, now we're talking, boys. Your favorite painting, Kinmar, The Kiss. I've never actually seen this. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen that painting. What do I think of this painting? Give me a second to, to really look at it. You know? Okay, it's all right. Um, would I buy? Would I? Would I choose this painting to be the one painting I steal if I stole a painting? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, let's do the uh, enemies are confused longer. I like that. Okay. Um, so what do you say? Hell yes. You take Valeria home to your apartment. 
Nice place. <laughs> she's confident and knows what she wants. She figures out quickly what you want to. After she snuggles into you, her hilt perfect in your palm, you're warm and cozy and soon fall asleep. In the morning, she's gone. Oh my. You found another date. I did. Found you another date. You've probably met her already. Who is it? <laughs> It'll be fine. Go to Paradise Lost tomorrow at noon. She'll wear a blue jacket. Fine. Don't forget to smile. You up? Morning. I want to see you again, but I think, uh, but I need to think. Let's just dunge for a while. Let's stab. Sounds good. Well, that was fast, yeah. Yeah, not my style either. Um, can appreciate being someone's, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, hmm, but fake smiles are bad. Never mind. Smiling optional. Sounds great. Uh, what is it? Where are we going? Paradise Lost. Date with a random person. Let's go. Welcome to Paradise Lost. Paradise I'm Lost. Olivia. What kind of cats do you like? All of them. That's not a real answer, you know. But it's true that every cat deserves love. I love this place. Hmm. Don't you worry, kicks. <laughs> Thought Jesse would tell you. He set us up. Oh, and oh, I forgot to take off my work apron. Sorry, one sec. Olivia takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess it's kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang out and pet cats. I don't really like dates anyway. Hmm. Who wants to play a game of trying to guess the right thing to say? And then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing? It's also fake. Totally understand. Do you? Or are you just playing the dating game? I'll never know. Olivia frowns slightly, eyes focusing in the distance. Wait. Don't look behind you, but I think someone's watching us in the window. You peek from the corner of your eye and you don't see anyone. Hmm, they're gone. Maybe I was imagining things. An elegant cat, Watson, sits nearby, staring at you cautiously. Huh? I don't recognize this one. Who are you, kitty? You new here? She's so cute. May I pet you, perhaps? Olivia reaches her hand tentatively and the cat stalks away again, tail in the air. I guess I offended her. You spend some time with Olivia chatting and petting cats. This is so fucking weird. <laughs> this is nice. See you around. Can I walk you home? Can we up again? See ya. See ya. Um, so if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. She backs out of the cafe with a, bl with a blush. The cat gives you a pit uh, pitying look. This is your fault. Here, kitty kitty. The cat stares at you until you feel uncomfortable. You head home. <laughs> this game. What the fuck is this game? So how to go? We're friends, maybe. Aw, oh, sweet. Friends are the best. This is progress. Just think, a few weeks... A few weeks ago, you never dated anyone, and now you have experience and skills. If you want to change... God damn! If you want to change up your weapon combos, check out the gym in town. The most romantic holiday ever is around the corner. Arbor Day? <laughs> no, silly. Fourth of July. Nothing more romantic than barbecue and fireworks. Of course. You think I'm joking, but wait and see. I met my, par my partner, Samantha. Samantha. What? Santa? At a barbecue. It's gold. You'll be all blah blah. I'll send you details soon. Alright. Eric. I guess it didn't work out, huh? What didn't? It was fucking Eric in the window. You know, your date with that coffee cutie. I've been there. I know how it feels to be rejected. I think they're so much better than us. But they're not. You're better than all of them. You just- this kid- oh my god, get away from this kid, please stop. This guy's the worst. Sorry if I'm awkward or saying too much. You're just so lovely. Yeah, the day, day for trees. A day for trees. Okay.
Okay, I think that that was, uh, that was my look into... That was my look into, uh, whatever this game is. What's this game called? How do I quit this game? Somebody help me. We're, I think we're done with, uh... I think we're done with, uh... D Boyfriend Dungeon. 